last week in the UEFA Champions League was indeed a different ball game, whereby we saw team put the ball at the back of the net. But yesterday night, it was not like that. We saw Barcelona and Lyon play out a zero all draw as well as Liverpool hub against almighty Bayern Munich playing zero hall draw. On this note, we welcome you to another beautiful edition of your favorite sports show that happens to be a window to all sporting activities. You know, it is sports beat. And on today's edition, we'll be talking about the Nigerian Professional Football League that enters week 10 and we'll be experiencing a whole lot of math worthwhile encounters like here in Lagos, we'll be seeing MFM, uh, Kitaku with Sunshine Stars of Akure and some other fixtures uh, that we'll be giving to you during the course of the show and we'll be talking about the ongoing Dubai Open whereby the world number one talking about uh, Naomi Osaka was dumped out of the tournament in the early stage after winning uh, the Australia Open in the, hell, uh, in the January edition of the tournament talking about 2019 Australia Open and we'll be talking about the big one that we'll be seeing today in the UEFA Champions League Atletico Madrid will play host to Juventus and Cristiano Ronaldo making a return down to where he actually made a name for himself and for Wolf Watch Football at large, talking about Madrid, the city called Madrid. And he will be actually locking horns with familiar enemy, talking about Atletico Madrid. All these are many more to come your way on today's edition of your fantastic program. Sit back and relax and enjoy, and because you are really going to get the lowdowns concerning what is going on in the world of football and world of sports in general. Adetotun Agumbiade is the name, and Super Screen is the TV station that happens to be the best here in the city of Lagos. And joining me today to do justice to all of the topics we have at hand, it is Tayo. Tayo, good afternoon, and how are you doing? Good afternoon. Uh, thanks for having me. And um, just like you, said, you have said earlier, uh, it was uh, a disappointing one for Barcelona yesterday. And most importantly, Liverpool, they had all the chances yesterday actually to score against Bayern Munich. But hopefully, in the second leg, I just feel they will be able to do the justice and get the maximum points. Because now, it has to be a score draw or a win for Liverpool. Uh, for of, course. Qualify. of course. Of course. But, but let's talk about this. During the preliminary stage, Liverpool at Leon rather, actually did something credible against almighty Manchester City. And they did something similar again against Barcelona. Yes. Do you expect them to get to the next round of the tournament? Uh, it is too close to call because uh, they will be going to New Camp. And uh, you know, New Camp is like a slaughter slab. Of course. Because that is the strong goal of Barcelona. But anything can happen in football. And it's like cookies, it could crack from any angle. So I just feel, yesterday I saw the first half, uh, they hit the bar, uh, one twice. of their strikers, they hit the bar twice. And if they could go to Barcelona with the right attitude, the right mindset, there is nothing stopping them from not uh, qualifying down. With uh, a draw at least. At, at least a draw. If they can it's called draw. It's called draw. <laughs> <laughs> well, Barcelona yesterday and Lyon in France actually played out a zero all draw, and many among soccer loving persons are really saying, when will this young man talking about Luis Suarez uh, 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 get to score on the road in the UEFA Champions League? He has not done that in recent times. So it's a question that the young man needs to answer on the field of play, not uh, of the field of play. Let's start today's edition uh, with a story with this story concerning the Nigerian national team goalkeeper in person of Francis Ozo, who actually is in crisis as we speak in this uh, Cyprus club, whereby uh, the, the, the football management in the country has suspended and deducted points from his Cyprus club. And but now they are complaining and appealing that this nine point is too much. Nine point to be deducted is actually too much. It's too much, and um, like this morning when the Duke was talking about this story, it was quite unfortunate that things like this happen to African players. Although it is possible that there is a, um, they must have forged one or two things in his best he, he, he accepted that the, 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 the medical uh, certificate forwarded, that the medical certificate was ready even before he landed. He landed in Cyprus in, uh, on Friday. And he did a play a game 48 hours. And the club actually uh, did lay an allegation that the, 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 the medical uh, 
a facilities they said they use uh, was actually shut down by 4 p.m. Friday, and it got to Cyprus 8 p.m. on Friday. So how come did they conduct the so medical it's, test? It's, it's quite unfortunate because it shows that even the club, uh, the, the, the allegation they're having against him doesn't hold water because he got there. It's not the club. It's not uh, Francis Zou. It's the club that did engage yes. in, this, in the atrocity. Yes, and for them to have, the guy got there 8 p.m. and the, the, the shop was the closed shop. by 4 p.m. So I don't think, uh, probably because he's an African player, that's why all these things is happening. Because if you are to be. An they African wanted player, him to play the game, the, that was the reason. Yes, okay. we, we are having a new goalkeeper and they wanted him in. Yes, they, <laughs> they wanted him in, but the truth is that they, they have to follow the procedure. Of you course, must do of the, course. Uh, you, you must follow the you due must process. Follow the procedure. You must do the, uh, the medical first. So it's actually on the part of the club. It's not the fault of the goalkeeper. But the goalkeeper himself is suffering from this particular punishment. Three games he's going to miss. He has missed two already, and it remains one. And he has been fined one thousand dollars. And this is quite much uh, for this young man that is actually coming up to play for the Nigerian national team as well uh, for his club. Let's move away from that this afternoon and still talk football. This one is about the Nigerian professional football league that entered week ten with ten fantastic games. We've been seeing over the couple of past weeks and we'll be actually seeing another fantastic set of games today. Uh, the one that actually really caught my fancy is the one that will be going down here in Lagos between my darling Sunshine Stars and MFM Football Club of Lagos. Let me quickly roll out the fixtures of games that will be seen today in the Nigerian Professional Football League. Uh, we'll be seeing Rangers to a with Wiki Tourist, uh, while Bendel Insurance will be at home uh, to Rivers United. Quara United will be up against Ninja Tornadoes, while MFM Football Club of Lagos uh, will be at home to Sunshine Stars of Akure. Aimba uh, will be up against Casina United, while Lobby Stars uh, will trade Thakud with Remo Stars. Uh, all these fixtures are in Group A and in Group B. We'll be seeing play two United welcome Cardo City, while Nasarawa United will be up against Yobi Desert Stars. Uh, Gumbe United uh, will be up against Goran FC Academy Warriors with lock arms with Atlant Football Club, while Kano Pilas will be at home to Abbey Warriors. Aqua United will be up a gift in form and fire umba. Let's talk about this. Rangers International. They are preparing for the game of the week. They are the game they will be playing the weekend. Talking about the CAF Confederation Cup. And they will be up against Wiki Torres. And the manager, in person of Bengal Gubota, said, I want my lads to win this to prepare for the forthcoming game. Yeah, um, uh, first and foremost, is is a good one that the guys they all have one week rest. Of at course. least. And uh, this uh, particular match is going to make them to be refreshed. Of course. So I feel I'm giving it to Rangers because uh, judging by their exploits in the continent, I think they should be able to take uh, Wiki Tories to the cleaners. But the Wiki Tories have been actually doing everything possible to show class this season in the league. Yes, uh, they've been doing uh, everything to show class. But if you look at the way uh, Rangers and National have been doing in the continent, and they've been playing teams outside Nigeria and they are doing well. So I feel they should be able to replicate uh, this fast target form. Okay, win for Rangers International. Um I say one nil. One nil in favor of Rangers. Okay, let's do talk about this. Let's talk about MFM up against Sunshine Stars of Aquare. In a couple of minutes, and uh, in the next 40 minutes of the year about the game will be keep starting. Uh, I'm giving it to MFM. Why are you giving it to MFM? <laughs> Because number one, they are the one, they are the table toppers, and then uh, coming against uh, Sunshine, it's going to be very uh, tight one. But I feel, I believe strongly, MFM. First against second, and the second with the game at hand, and yes. are you saying you're giving it to MFM the, the, just the like that? The truth is that um, the two of them, that match is going to be, um, it, it's going to be a cracker because the two of them, they will be. Um, they will be very careful. Yes. You understand. But being on uh, MFM soil, I don't see Sunshine Star getting all the three points. At least, at least a draw. 
At least they drop. But actually, I'm of the opinion that Sunshine Stars of Korea will come down to Lagos and take MFM Football Club of Lagos to the cleaners. I'm, I'm of the opinion. But I want to actually hold your viewers out there. If you want to be part of today's program, you can actually look on your TV screen and dial the number on it. We want to know, maybe Cristiano Ronaldo will be having an impact today in Madrid. Remember, he won't slide his trade with the, 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 the rival of Atletico Madrid, talking about Real Madrid, and he actually, he has formed a very strong hole, talking about being a base and prepare, putting up a very good show against Atletico Madrid. Will he actually replicate the same uh, kind of form he had in the past uh, with Juventus against Atletico? We want to have your opinion. And who wins between Atletico and Juventus. Actually, let's uh, keep on talking about what is really going to happen today. Lobby starts uh, the eventual winner of Nigerian Professional Football League last season that will be up against Remo Stars. Remo Stars, away from home, at home, they've been actually trying to put everything right this season. Yes, um, it's going to be an interesting one as well, but I don't see Remo Stars doing anything uh, fantastic against Lobby Stars. So Lobby Stars should be able to show themselves at least as a champion because it will be very disappointing if although it's football you understand so they cannot afford to uh, to actually write off Remonster, but they just uh they just have to put their eyes together i see them winning that uh, that match okay you see them winning that particular game let's move away from there and so uh two games uh, uh we talk about two games in group b well we're talking about economy warriors against atlan economy they've been fantastic this season Yes, uh, they've been fantastic this season, and um, today, uh, all the matches, at least all the matches in the Group B, they are big matches. Of course. We have Aimba, um, we have uh, Ekanemi, we have Aqua and Ifaimba. But that Ekanemi, um, let me just give it a draw. Yeah, giving it a draw. With all of the performances Ekanemi Warriors have been able to pick up this season so far. It doesn't matter because the truth is that Atlant is not, they are not laid back and they mm -hmm. are going to give everything to that match. Okay. So I feel that match will end the draw. And also Aqua United is going to be a cracker. It's going to be a cracker between the two of them. Okay, yeah. let's talk about Aqua United and Infayumba. Infayumba, they've been fantastic. Uh, they, at the point, they are the only team that actually gather more points in the Nigerian Professional Football League. At the time, they were the team that actually never lost. Uh, after a set of seven games, and everyone was saying that would well, they go on to like 15 games unbeaten, but it was not, it was not like that. But if you look at Mfanyuba on the road this season, they've been fantastic. At home, they've been fantastic. What should we be, what should we be expecting? Yes, uh, it's going to be a tight one, but I'm, I'm looking at the draw, but hopefully we might see what we saw in the week nine encounter. You discover that in the week nine encounter, we saw a lot of goals. So today, we never can tell. It's possible that Simpa Yuba will take the day, but I'm seeing a draw in that match. Okay, Tayo said he's seeing a draw in that particular game. Let's sit back and relax and enjoy this highlight. Talking about the game between Liverpool and Bayern Munich yesterday. Then when, after this highlight, we'll continue sports beat. And European clashes.